Well, happy Independence Day, America. Although the Supreme Court has attempted to thrust us back in time 50 years recently, there may be a more pressing concern of the space-time continuum for us to worry about today. Tomorrow is July 5th, 2022, and a European organization known as CERN is firing up the old particle accelerator known as the Large Hadron Collider once again. Now, admittedly, I'm no physicist, and physics beyond a basic understanding is not my strong suit. However, this machine essentially creates portals. CERN's theory is that a portal will open after two high-end energy particle beams are set to travel close to the speed of light before they collide. So, what could happen here? Who the hell knows? Maybe the end of the world as we know it. Then again, we may have already had some changes to our world due to CERN's playing around. Back in 2012, CERN turned on the old LHC and there was a largely circulated rumor that CERN had created an unstable black hole. CERN did some more portal opening in 2016, and now, after making vast improvements of course, it is said to be bigger, faster, and more powerful than ever before. So here we go again, bigger each time. CERN is planning to set a new world record tomorrow by using 13.6 billion electron volts in its first ever stable beam collisions. Now these collisions will mark the start of data taking for the new physics season called Run 3. By the way, these crazy lights that you see in the sky behind me are some photos taken from the last time CERN fired this baby up and started playing with portals, dimensions, and black holes. This thing is truly powerful at a level that should be very concerning. We honestly have no idea what this thing can do or what it has already done. A lot of people think the Mandela effects are a direct result of CERN's experiments literally changing our physical history and dividing or combining our dimensions. It's scary stuff. Now a quick side note here. I've covered Mandela effects before. You can learn more about those in other videos here on my channel. Go check those out. I sure hope we don't get sucked into this thing. Best of luck, friends. I hope to see you on the other side. Or maybe I'll see a different version of you from another dimension. Mind-boggling. CERN will be broadcasting this experiment live from their media if you guys want to check it out. So tell me gang, what are your thoughts on man-made portals, dimensions, openings, man-made black holes? Are we playing with fire? Are the nerds going to kill us? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I also want to know, do you think CERN is responsible for the Mandela effects that we all experience? Let me know about that too. Be sure to follow Quick Note Conspiracies, guys. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Thanks.